talking to you. Want to make real estate investing work for you while working a full-time job? Here's how you'll be able to retire early. Stay tuned. I promise you, it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Properties TV. So glad you could join us here today. Every week on Prime Properties TV, we take a closer look at the Toronto real estate topics and updates that matter the most to you. And on this episode, I'm going to reveal the secret to investing in real estate while holding a full-time job. This will not only help you build wealth by having your money work for you, but also help you in achieving your early retirement dreams, okay? So generally, buying a property can be a lot of work. On top of that, buying an investment property can also be a lot of work but the rewards come with owning an investment property are huge, especially over the long term. A very common roadblock that I get for first time investors is that they don't have enough time to invest in real estate and their schedules are just too busy for a full time job and family in their life. Well, I'm going to resolve your concerns in this episode of Prime Properties TV, so make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the Prime Property channel. It's right here so you can get all the updates when we put out great videos like this, okay? So before I tell you how much I actually spend, how much time I actually spend managing my properties, let me illustrate why it's very important for you to make real estate investing a priority, even if you are a very, very busy person with a very busy schedule, okay? Last year, one of my properties made me a little over $160,000, yeah. And I spent only two hours at most managing a property a month, two hours a month. I'm not telling you this to impress you, but I'm just trying to impress upon you the importance of real estate investing and why it should be something you should be doing and putting time into. Even if it's two hours a month, you can spare it. I know you can. So here's a breakdown of how my numbers worked, okay? And last year, I received about $2,200 a month in rent, which is about like $26,000 for a full year. Uh, my mortgage was paid down about $16,000 throughout the year that my tenant paid for by giving me rent, which means I earned more of the property. And on top of that, the property appreciated quite well over about $120,000. So that brings me to like a total of about like $160,000. Don't forget, I also don't have much time on my hand because I have to run a Remax brokerage, manage my team, take care of clients, make content on YouTube, make the podcast, along with other personal matters and family time that I have to take care of as well. Yet, I can still do this real estate on the side and make it all work. Let's just say that with all my obligations, it's more than a full-time job. And if I can do it, so can you. Because really, I'm not that special. It's just, I realize the power and the effect of real estate and what it can do for you. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. You should take some time to look into this, okay? So if you ever experienced the power of real estate, leave a comment in the description below and tell me your story and what you've been able to accomplish with real estate, especially if you owned it for more than a decade. Or if you haven't invested, let us know what you're trying to build, what kind of wealth you're trying to get with real estate so that we can leave your job and retire early as well, okay? So if the numbers I showed you caught your eye and your attention, I purposely did that. It's because I want to explain to you the power of real estate investing and why you should do it even if you have a full-time job. The most important thing about investing in real estate with a full-time job is finding the right property that works for you and finding the right tenant that works for you, okay? This is the basic building block of minimizing the amount of time to maintain this investment property. If you have a good property in a good area, then you'll probably spend less time than two hours per month managing that property. Especially especially if you follow the systems that I use to automate rent collection, mortgage payments, property taxes, notices, and even maintenance, okay? In fact, you may not even hear from the tenant at all if everything is set up correctly. After the initial setup, this is basically real estate investing that's headache free without having to lift a hammer. Imagine that, a real estate side hustle with barely any ongoing work attached to it. I don't know about you, man, but like, if my money can work for me and grow that much, I'll invest in that asset, which is real estate, all day, every day, okay? So this is why real estate is very powerful and can absolutely be done while you work a full-time job. This is why a lot of people look to real estate for passive income and have succeeded in doing so. So if you found an option to get you closer to retire early, wouldn't you wanna take it? Like, unless you absolutely love your job and aren't looking to stop working anytime soon, you probably would choose the retire early option. So this is why a lot of people look into real estate because it creates a significant amount of wealth that allows you to, over time, leave your job if you, or if you wanna retire early, okay? Now, another important reason why you should take advantage of your full-time job and invest in real estate at the same time is because the banks love you more when you have a full-time salary job, okay? Banks love that steady, stable pay as much as you do. And it's gonna be way more difficult in the future if you're self-employed or not working out to get a mortgage, which is critical for real estate investing. This is something I wish I knew before I left my corporate job because after leaving and becoming self-employed, 
they didn't like me anymore. <laughs> I would, if I knew that, I would have just maxed out my mortgage qualifications first. But once you're gone, it's going to be so difficult and it takes a lot of time and work to get back to how much money the banks are willing to lend you. So if you're working a full-time job, you should take advantage of the fact that you have a salary job because the banks like you. So if you're ready to make your future a priority and you understand the power of real estate investing and what you can do with it and the fact that you can do it with the full-time job because it really doesn't take that much time to get started on your early retirement, then make sure you contact me. I'll leave my contacts on the screen here or in the description below. Do not delay your future anymore because you 100% deserve better. So let's work towards getting you there. Until next time, your move, your future. Now that you're done watching this one, how about this one? Oh, you know what? This one's good too. Ooh, this one's really good. You know what? Just watch the most.